I'm Mike Tolliver for ICOC Hot News. Recently, Hot News was on hand in St. Louis for the North American Discipleship Summit. Almost 18,000 were gathered together for that event. It was incredible, but Hot News was also so encouraged by stories of baptisms and church plantings from across the continent. Greetings from Colorado. How's it going, family? Hello, my name is Amir Burton. This is my beautiful wife, Jewel Burton. Hi, my name is Tim Schmidt, and this is my wife, Crystal Schmidt. We have the privilege of serving as evangelist and women's ministry leader in the Northwest Arkansas Church of Christ. About seven years ago, the church split. There were 18 disciples that remained. They met in warehouses. They were led by lay leaders for years. But that group grew from 18 to 38 over the next five years. And in the past two and a half years, the church has now grown to 69 faithful disciples, averaging over 90 people on every Sunday. This year, we've already seen 11 people baptized into Christ. Two years ago, we were outgrowing our meeting space, and God blessed us with a building. It was almost three times larger than our previous location, but our mortgage is actually less than our rent was in the previous location. Please pray for us as we continue to spread the gospel throughout the Bible Belt. Throughout Arkansas and beyond. My name is Max Anderson, this is my fiance Alyssa Chisholm, and we bring you good news from the city of Grand Junction, Colorado's most recent church planting. We began two years ago with a small mission team of just 13 disciples and no full-time staff, and God has blessed us abundantly since then. Yeah, it's been really cool. We've seen 12 baptisms since we got there, and what's been awesome is that those conversions are from every ministry, from teens to campus to marrieds, uh, and singles of all ages. And two of the mission team members were actually able to reach out to their moms who live in the Grand Junction area. And both of those moms have become disciples this last year, which is really inspiring. Uh, God has blessed us with a restoration, three babies, and a new marriage. Uh, between the restoration, the baptisms, and move-ins, um, the church membership has more than doubled from 13 original members up to our current membership of 29. Um, our current services have over 50 attendees and God is continuing to do immeasurably more than we could ask or imagine. We were sent out uh, about 11 months ago to plant a church in Pullman. And uh, over the last two years, the Seattle Church of Christ who sent us out has raised over half a million dollars in special missions contributions that have gone to our mission planning as well as other churches in the region and abroad in the UK. Our mission team started off with five married couples, some campus students, and some young professionals, and it's been challenging, but we've grown and learned a ton. That's right. The Northwest uh, region is continuing to collaborate on more mission teams that are being sent out, and uh, Pullman on the Palouse, uh, eight miles from Idaho, and the University of Idaho is open. We're faithful. We're fired up. So thanks to all, and God bless. Hello, my name is Amir Burton. This is my beautiful wife, Jewel Burton, and we lead the campus ministry and team ministry in Antelope Valley, which is a region in California. About a year ago, we moved um, to the Antelope Valley after getting hired by Greg and Kathy Moretzky. And when we got there, our campus ministry only had four disciples. Uh, but a year later, to God be the glory, we have grown to 21 members in our campus ministry. So we're really excited that our campus ministry has not only grown numerically, but they're also growing spiritually. We've been able to do first principle Bible study lessons with them, helping them to learn the Bible studies, and also being able to teach them how to share their faith. That was one thing that was so important for them because when we got there, none of them had really had any idea of how to do that. So we're so grateful that they're learning and that they're growing. The news is very encouraging from across North America. Please be praying for church plantings here and around the world God bless. We'll see you back at the website.